Team, keep it clean. Whenever something special happens, I feel like I got to share with y'all because y'all are family. Y'all already know that. And somebody else who is extended family is the Baltimore Ravens. And I got to give a big thank you uh, to the Baltimore Ravens for doing something that they didn't have to do. Uh, something that was not a requirement. It was not necessary. It, whether they did it or not, it was not going to change me being a fan of the Baltimore Ravens. You know, I was going to still love them regardless, even through the tough times. But this was uh, seriously, this, this was real special. Um, they sent out this letter and let me just read it to you. It says, uh, we are so excited to hear that we have a new addition to the Ravens flock. The Baltimore Ravens want to take this opportunity to welcome your bundle of joy into the world. We hear that they are a soon to be Ravens fan and we really appreciate their coming support. We would like to officially welcome your baby as a member of the Ravens flock. We look forward to their passion and devoted fandom. And we know they will look great in purple and black. As a token of our appreciation, please accept these Baltimore Ravens baby items for her to rep during game days. We look forward to making you proud in the coming seasons. Hey, y'all better keep your word on that. Uh, best wishes, the Baltimore Ravens. So shout out to Ravens for sending that, man. And this is what they sent out. So first, we got the Baltimore Ravens onesie. So she'll be ready to wrap it during game day. Uh, and then they also sent out this bib. It says, uh, trying to read it backwards. Oh, Little Ravens fan. There we go. Uh, and then they also sent out this Poe plush. So hopefully the dogs don't get to it because um, they will rip that thing up. But anyway, um, that was cool, man. That was cool. And, and it was just special for them because they could have they didn't have to send anything out at all. And, and, and I did reach out to them. I had spoke to Lacey. Deca Shout out to Lacey DeCosta because y'all know she is amazing. We had her on last year and it was just real nice to get her insight on everything um, with the Baltimore Ravens, because obviously she is the wife of general manager Eric DeCosta. But she's she was a Ravens fan before him. Um, but she like she's tied heavy connected with baltimore itself the city but definitely with the team uh she's been with them literally from jump but anyway um i spoke to her and she looked out and then spoke to the baltimore ravens directly and they looked out and they could have sent like some general letter or some copy and paste thing or they could have done that and that would, that would have been fine but even though it, again it's super simple super simple they they typed it up, but they 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 personalize it, man. And that that made it special to me. The fact that they even sent it in the first place made it special, but they personalize it. Um, so I, I just really really uh, appreciated that from them a lot. Uh, the Baltimore Ravens are very very special, man. They are very very special. Obviously, we 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 talk about the team every single day. Uh, we love going to any games that we can go to. We engage on here every single day about the Baltimore Ravens, have discourse about them all the time, whether it's stuff that we think they do great, whether it's stuff that we think that it's not so great. But I think it's important to always share those opinions respectfully because we've got to remember, like at the beginning and end of the day, the players, the coaches, the whole franchise, everybody that's part of them, they're human. They're human. So they got friends. They got families. They got lives like they're human. They're people. So it's important to move with respect. I think that's super important. But with the Baltimore Ravens, um, they this is not my first encounter with them with something like off some something separate from football. Like because for those of y'all who've been around for a real long time, and it's, this is not only a thank you to the Baltimore Ravens, this is a thank you to y'all to thank keep it clean. Because y'all are super, super special. I appreciate everything that y'all do. I appreciate the way that y'all support the channel. Like, crazy, crazy. So, thank you for that. Keep on subscribing now. Keep on sharing the videos and stuff and leaving likes on the video because that, that makes a big, big difference. But, anyway, it's not about that. With the Baltimore Ravens, years ago, I remember when a, a Ravens fan, um, his little brother had passed. His little brother had passed and he had reached out to us and he was like, hey, he's like, he told me the situation and whatnot. And I was like, I, I don't know if you could do anything like if you could talk to the ravens or something and see if they could do anything from a little brother and i was like i see i talk to him and see so i reached out to them with no hesitation with no issue with no problem they were like sure no problem just give us his information uh we'll send something out the no issues at all and to me again that was special man because i'm sure not every team does that because they're not obligated to. They don't have to. 
But the fact that they were willing to do that, to me, that says a lot about them as a company, about them as a franchise, about them as a business, the way that they operate. They care. They legitimately care about their fans. They really do. They really do. And then on top of that, like it starts at the top and it like it, it trickles down. It's a trickle down effect because it starts with the franchise itself, but then it can trickle down to the players. Of course, we've talked countless amount of times about our ex- different experiences that we've had on here. Uh, just engaging with uh, Lamar Jackson, just speaking to him at the, the different fun days and stuff and just seeing how he is. Uh, when we did the interview at his restaurant and stuff with, with Nitro, which would, it just every time we've spoken to Lamar Jackson and how he like got on FaceTime with my son Carter and whatnot. And he he just always been great. Always been great. He just always been super cool, super laid back, super chill, super respectful, super humble, all that stuff. But anyway, um, going back to that same scenario where the Ravens fan, his little brother had unfortunately passed. He told me he was like, man, my, my little brother was a big Tavon Young fan. And y'all remember Tavon Young slot cornerback from Maryland, too, by the way, but slot cornerback for the Ravens. Um, ah, it's unfortunate how it went down with him. I remember he signed that nice extension with the Baltimore Ravens, but just injuries just ruined his career. But anyway, with Tavon Young, um, he uh, I had reached out to him told him the situation and he was like yeah yeah i'll I send him something i'll I, I, I send send him a signed jersey something like that and i was like man that's like that's special like and that's when he was still with the baltimore ravens at that time but the the players they are willing to do stuff too because and, and it makes such a big difference so the 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 fact that it's like this is just one of many great experiences i'm sure y'all have had plenty of great experiences too and probably some personalized experiences as well um but it just it, it makes such a big difference man because, again, we, we cheer for this team every Sunday, Monday, Thursdays, toward the end of the season, Saturdays. Uh, and then if scheduling gets crazy, it could be on a Wednesday or something like that. But we cheer for this team every day of the week all the time. We hope that they win. We hope that they win every single Super Bowl in the world. But um, it can make you an even bigger fan when stuff like this happens, uh, when they do stuff like this. That, again, they don't have to do. It's not a requirement. It ain't necessary. Like, people still going to buy tickets to the games regardless if they do stuff like this or not. People still going to buy all the memorabilia, the jerseys, the shirts, whatever, whether they do stuff like this or not. But the fact that they still do stuff like this, that matters. That makes a big difference. And just to have a, a positive impact on somebody's life. That's what we talk about on here a lot. Um, you never know what type of positive impact you could have on somebody's life. Small gesture, too. Ain't gotta be nothing crazy. It could be a small gesture, that, and you could have such a, a big impact on somebody, and you won't even realize. Won't even realize. Won't even realize it. So I, I really appreciated them doing that. Baltimore Ravens, um, just as a whole, they do a really, really good job on the fan experience. Uh, like when we, if you go to a game, like the 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 the, the screens, the 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 sound, the um. Just the atmosphere, man. Just being there. If you ever get a chance to go to a Ravens game, go. Go. If you get a chance to go to a night game, ooh, those are the best. But you get a chance to go to a Ravens game in general, go. It is worth it. It's it's so much fun. It's such a great experience. It's so enjoyable. They make it a lot of fun. Very interactive. They especially from from the introductions. They got the little games that you can play during the game and stuff with all the trivia and whatnot. Uh, they got the the crowd, especially if the Ravens are winning. But if it's a close game, the crowd, they, everybody be into it and whatnot. Just the the arena. And, I mean, not the arena, the stadium. And it's 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 a nice stadium. It's a nice stadium. But um, just go if you get the chance, man. But Ravens really, um, this this was very, very special to me. Like I said, it was super, super simple. And I'm sure that, that little letter and them putting this stuff together could have took maybe six, seven minutes out of somebody's day. Doing, doing all of this could have took six, seven minutes out of somebody's day. But the fact that they were willing to do it, to me, that, that says a lot about the team. So I really, really appreciate it. And just got to give a big thank you again uh, directly to the Baltimore Ravens.